This video produced by Warren County Telecom is a tutorial on how to send emails as SMS text messages to your people's mobile devices. This request is coming up more and more and it's very simple to do with a little upfront legwork. Some may ask why this is beneficial. Not everyone has email access on their phones, but most do have text messaging. Also, mobile devices are quickly replacing alpha pagers due to the convenience of only carrying one device Plus, only two Warren County radio towers support alpha pager transmission. Someone's alpha pager may show the message as jumbled if the signal does not come in smoothly. Mobile phones offer the same capability and better range. However, there are some things to consider. You are asking employees to use personal phones for business use. Also, some employees may not carry an unlimited text package, if one at all. So if they receive too many messages, they may be charged per message. Also, messages are limited to 160 characters just like typical text messages, so keep this in mind when typing your email. There is no notification saying you've reached 160 characters, it will just truncate the message without you knowing on your end. Also, Telecom is sharing the method for doing this, but it is not a service we offer. Your department needs to assign someone to create this distribution list within your email system. So the first step is gathering phone numbers and mobile carriers for each of your people. The phone number is 10 digits, including the area code. The carrier will allow you to compare it to this spreadsheet available from Telecom to figure out the carrier's domain. This is what will go after the at sign. Once you gather everyone's phone number and carrier, you will one by one create contacts in your email software. Here's a helpful tip that will save you time in the creation of your distribution list later on. Begin each person's name with your department acronym and an underscore. This will save you time when rooting through your list of contacts and picking out the relevant people. You can search by name and it will filter to only the people that start with your acronym. For example, WCTC for Warren County Telecom. Enter the company and title information if you wish, then jump down to the email section. Here's another helpful hint that Telecom has learned in making their own distribution lists. Enter the mobile device's text address in the email three field. Since most people do not have three email addresses, it's safe to bet if you ever see an email three entry that it's the person's email to text address. Email should be reserved for people's primary email address and email two for alpha pager addresses for those who still use pagers. And email three is where you will type the 10 digit phone number at the carrier's domain. Verizon is vtext.com. Save the contact, then continue adding all your additional contacts. Whoops, did you catch this common mistake? You get so used to tabbing through the fields that we entered his email to text address in the email field instead of email three. If you catch yourself, no need to retype. Just control C to copy the address, go to email three, then control V to paste, then save. We'll do one more to give us three people. Step three is creating your distribution list to include all these contacts. Still in the contact section, go to the top left corner and select the drop down next to new and choose distribution list. Title is whatever makes sense to you. We will do our agency's acronym, then all text. Now select members. This will pull up a separate dialog box of your contacts. And this is where using the acronym as a prefix will save you time. Rather than scrolling through and individually picking people out, simply search by name and enter your acronym. It will instantly take you to the names that include the acronym. Highlight the contacts and add them into the members line, then press OK. Save your distribution list to include the newly added contacts. The final step is sending your email. We'll do a test to ensure my people receive it. We'll just type in a text message and press send. And here it is on Paul Bernard's phone as a text message from my email address. So the final recap of the four steps. Gather the 10 digit numbers and carrier info from your members. Create contacts and outlook using the two tips of department acronym and email three. Add these contacts to a distribution list, then send your email and ensure they receive it as a text message. 
To receive the carrier list or for other questions, please contact Telecom's CAD RMS division or trainer at 513-695-HELP option 3. Or you can email a help ticket to help at wcoh.net.